So today I'm going to show you what I carry in the boot of the car in case of emergencies. This is all spread out at the minute. First thing is not really a power bank as your first idea, but if you get stuck, you should have that fully charged. It's still a 34% from when I was using it. So I've got my power bank for all my chargers, what have you, and all the rest of it. A pair of mitts, mount equipment, mitts, very warm. Mitts keep your hands together like this. Keeps your hands warmer. If you don't need to be dexterous, mitts are a good idea. Woolly hat. Woolly hat with that, that mid there, that's really warm. That, in fact, that's usually when I wear that's too hot. I always end up taking it off, but you know. Also, I have a, a little box here, which I've got a, a carpet on. I've got some sticky stuff to stop it sliding around. Some sticky stuff on the bottom that stops it sliding backwards and forwards because it's heavy. So I've got some white de-icing salt. I just picked this up from, uh, I think it was Home Base. Cheapest chips, like, stick it under your tyres if you get stuck. Melts the ice in the snow can stop you getting stuck. I've used that, I used. I had three bags, I used one last year, pulled us out the ice, it was good. Just melts the ice straight away, it's mad. A little shovel, a little AliExpress thing, you can get these all over the place. Um, hold on a minute. So that just pops out like that. A little snow shovel, give it some. Light as a feather as well. It just falls away to nothing. Sits on that. The icer, need to get some more of that. That's last year's. A bit rusty. There's another one. The icer, Halford stuff. Scraper, ice scraper. These ones are good. These don't break. Hard ice can snap the thin ones. You've also got a rubber thing for your, for your windows, the condensation. Sits in there. Also got some spikes, micro spikes for your feet. Poke you, I don't know if they make these anymore, but like Catula spikes and there's Saliwa and all sorts. But they basically just go on the bottom of your shoe. A rubber clip over. They're good for stopping you sliding about. Very handy them, I've used them a few times. So that's my little winter kit. Also, the tyres I've got on. I don't know if you can make them out, but the snow tyres. These are about 60 quid each. Still got loads of grip on them. Good for pulling out the snow. Put them on your front tyres if it's front wheel drive. Or if you want, get a set of four. I'm taking this in soon, either today or tomorrow, to get another two on the back, all weather tyres. So that's that. A couple of other items I take. Um, I'm going hiking this weekend, so I'm taking my ski goggles. They're excellent, they're really good if it gets uh, like hailstorms or even rain and snow, anything, it just keeps it all out of your eyes. This Berghaus balaclava, one of the best things I've ever bought. I've had that about 10 years now, and that has kept me in some. It's kept us nice and warm and dry in some insane weather. Just hiking. I've got a rab windproof. This goes over your t-shirt or your base layers in between your waterproof jacket. Great for keeping the wind out. Just on its own, standalone, you can use that as a, a good windproof. I've got a buff, which you can put on instead of the balaclava if it's too warm. Just to keep that rain wind out your face. Gators, not everybody likes gators, but these are sometimes the like, most useful thing you can imagine. I've gone for the, I've gone for the Gore-Tex ones because what's the point in having gators if they're not waterproof? Big thick set of gloves, these have never let me down. I remember going on about them, Rahint gloves, this, these, these are like 10 times better. But they're also ten times the price and not cheap them. I take my Kestrel just to see what the wind speed is and the temperatures. 
and a little pair of little Rab Micro Light gloves. That's it, that's probably all you need for your basic winter walking kit. Not camping, winter walking, hiking, which I'll be doing this weekend. I'm not filming it, I'm just having it. We're just going out with the lads to have a good time. So that's it. So if anybody has any other stuff they use, just stick it in the comments. People will find it useful, might not. The other thing I've got is Berghaus pack light these these are the Gore-Tex ones pack light trousers waterproof I've just nick waxed them so I'm just letting them drip dry there and then I'll bring them in because it's too cold to dry also mountain equipment waterproof I think this is the Lotzi I'm not cheap these like but it's kept us dry for the last four winters the hood's a bit mad, but yeah, but it really does keep you dry. And they're all just drip drying now, so once they're drip dry, I'll, so the water's all off, I'll put them in the house. The product I used to wash it was the Tech Wash. You just put a couple of capfuls in the washing machine, like if you put your washing powder. No fabric conditioner. You let the cycle run, I only put it on a half hour cycle and it'll rinse off and then you do the same thing again with the wash in. This is what waterproofs it. Nickbox TX Direct. I'm not getting sponsored by these but everybody knows about Nickbox. And it is the best stuff. So that's the two you need to waterproof your gear.